Uh, here we are um, coming towards the end of this series uh, in Corona Chronicles, in Mark's Gospel. And Jesus uh, is has been crucified, and we've been looking at that event, sort of slowed down to look at that event a little bit more detail. And there's just a couple of verses here. And in, ma in many ways, this, they could be seen as throwaway verses, but actually they tell us some very, very significant things. So we're just going to read um, Mark chapter 15 and verse 40 and 41. Some women were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. In Galilee, these women had found him and cared for his needs. Many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem were there also. Mm. And it's obviously the he there is is Jesus. Mm. Yeah, that's right. So Jesus in the in the last session had uh, you know has, has has died, and the Roman centurion has recognised in the moment of his death uh, that this was the Son of God. And um, back in chapter fourteen, Jesus said to his disciples that in this moment, when the shepherd was struck, the sheep would scatter, mm. and he said to them, "You will all fall away." And we've seen over the course of the last few weeks the disciples sort of fleeing from Jesus, really, as he approaches his hour. Um, but this little note tells us that not everyone had run away. Uh, in fact, there were these women, this group of women and these specific women who had remained with Jesus. And although they were standing at a distance, they refused to be separated from their Lord. And even as he died, they were there watching on. And, um, uh, you know, we're supposed to see here that these were not just here for this event. You know, in Galilee, these women had followed him and cared for his needs. Um, so they had been committed to him for a long time. You know, they had been with him in his ministry, they had looked after him practically, and they refused to abandon him in his moment of greatest need. So in some ways, this is the model of a true disciple, isn't it? Mm. You know, we've been following the blokes, but we, you know, let's not forget these disciples who were with him the whole time. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, think, I think in Christianity, uh, actually women are a backbone to the whole, to mm. the whole of the thing. Mm. So um, the sort of a, a, often modern reading of Christianity that it's you know it's all about men and putting down the little women is mm. so wrong. Mm, mm. This is a first century document mm. written by Mark, isn't it? And uh, you know whatever we think about uh, how people treated people in history, we know that women's accounts uh, were not important. Yes. Yeah, they 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 you wouldn't have a woman in court. You wouldn't have a woman giving an eyewitness account. Mm. They were not believed. They mm. were seen as something uh, separate to men. And yet, uh, foundational to, to the Christian witness mm. uh, is that these women were important backbone to mm. uh, followers of Jesus and eyewitnesses mm. of these accounts. I think that's really important. Yeah. And it's, it's, it is good for us to understand that because one of the criticisms that is often leveled at the bible or certainly used to be at least was that that it's a it's a hoax book and uh, you know these followers of jesus got together and decided right lads what can we what can we make up mm. um uh, but if that was the case uh, yeah. as you say they would never have included this because it wouldn't have given Christianity traction in the no. first century. People would have said, well, you know, if you're, if you're witnesses to the death, and as we'll see, the resurrection were women, and as you say, we can't really trust their testimony, then, then who on earth would want to begin with that? You, mm. you would want a load of strong, intelligent blokes mm. who had seen it all, wouldn't you? You just yeah. wouldn't write it like this. Not so, at all. Um, and th and that's why I think um, we we can we can say that these are eyewitness accounts. Mm. This is actually what happened, as you say. Mm. You would not mm. have just made that up and put that down mm. if you were making it up. Mm. But what women they were, as you say, they stand. They're there. Mm. They're not the ones that run away. <laughs> it's all the, it's all the disciples, mm. isn't it, that run away? The male disciples. Um, uh, they're there, caring, and it's it's just just a lovely expression uh, in verse uh, forty one. Um, uh, these women had followed him and cared for his needs. Mm. You know, they're they're thinking about the Lord. They're mm. thinking about uh, you know what he's got to do and the pressures he's under. And there's mm. just this this compassion and care mm. for him. Mm. There is, yeah. And uh, 
And they are, you know, although we're told there's a group of women there, um, you know, Mark highlights, you know, some individual women, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James the Younger and of Joseph and Salome. Um, I mean, everybody's and, called Mary. That's, a, everyone's that's called Mary. It's very problem. frustrating reading <laughs> the Gospels, to working out which <laughs> Mary is who. But, um, but the point is that these are not, you know, these, these were women that you could have gone to. They had families and homes yeah, and yeah, yeah. heritage. Uh, yeah. They weren't just names plucked out of the air. And the whole point was that, yeah, you know, when they, when, when the early Christians were reading these documents, they could, they could trace lines mm. and they knew people. So uh, it just shows again that what we're dealing with is, is historic, is historical. It really took place with real people, real events that have real significance for, yeah. for us. And, and, and they're, they're, they're women from different backgrounds as well. Because Mary, mm. you've got Mary, Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and the, the younger and so forth. Um, mm. So you've got, uh, you know, quite a diverse uh, a group of Marys there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? It's yeah. like in the um, 16th century, everyone was called Thomas. Yeah. 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 Well, well Tom- Mary. It's called Mary. Well, like everyone's called Mary. Yeah. 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 Well, Thomas is a very sort of common name. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. I mean, it's just, it's just a couple of verses, isn't it? But, um, but but something that just shows how beautiful how beautifully important women were to the Christian testimony and still are and what an authentic document we've been dealing with in these sessions. Mm.